Hi everyone, this is Mayer speaking to you from the School for Self Healing. It was wonderful to have this long trip that I had, and I really enjoyed remembering how my vision improved looking at a distance, looking at bridges. I want to talk about one of my favorite clients by the name of Marlis. She was born with cataracts, like me and my kids. And her surgery, for different reasons, was done late. And what was amazing when she came to visit me in San Francisco is that she accepted the exercises as her game. She would be on her mom's shoulders with an obstructive lens and count the windows and the houses around and their colors. She accepted my assistant to be the woman who gives her the balls and no one else would. And as her mother was bouncing and as she was able to count houses, her vision started to sharpen. Then she loved the game where she would sit on a swing and we would show her different objects and she would describe them. And when she was wearing her glasses, her vision became so much better. We're talking about somebody without her natural lens and without an optical lens in her eyes. I visited her now in Germany and her vision improved so beautifully. A year later. Now, from youth, let's go to old people. Many people already in their 60s, some in their 70s, lose their central vision. And if you ask me why, I would answer, it is because of medical ignorance and because of medical treatment. When you learn to read a whole paragraph at once, you disconnect between your brain and the central part of your retina, the macula. And it's only a matter of time, and the time could be a few dozens of years, where you lose the clear vision of your macula, which sees perfectly fine. Because the macula sees only a percent and a half of your total visual field. And your mind needs to move from area to area that you're looking at in order to maintain your clear vision. It's done very easily during your childhood because you're curious about everything you see. But then, as you grow, as you become an adult, you stop being so curious. When you read, you start to read a whole paragraph at once. And so, what we do with eye exercises, after we do relaxation, after we um, adjust our eyes to the strong light of the sun and to the darkness of the night, and we do it here in a dark room, what you learn is to look at details again. And one other thing happens when we become older. Not enough blood gets to our head. And that comes because of back tension that causes neck tension and scalp tension. Learning to relax the neck becomes the most important thing. Look at the fact that the massage therapists right now have so much work in airports, in supermarkets, because so many people like to have neck massage since the neck becomes so tense. With our work, we learn how to think in a way that relaxes the neck and to loosen up the neck. We learn also how to loosen up the skull. Let me give you one exercise that connects both of them, but I just want to say 
that as more blood comes to the head, we prevent bleeding and hemorrhaging that happens in the retina. People will ask, well, if you get more blood, aren't you getting more hemorrhaging? The answer is absolutely not. The only reason you have hemorrhaging is when enough, not enough blood gets to the uh, retina, then the retina will produce new capillaries and they'll bleed. So let's do an exercise. Sit comfortably. Breathe deeply so your belly and your uh, lower back will uh, expand as you inhale and shrink when you exhale. Count four when you breathe in and seven when you breathe out. And do it several times. Now, move your head in rotating motion in both directions. Stop the program and do it for about 20 times to each direction. Four times to each direction and then do it five uh, re with five repetitions. Then turn on the program again. Now, massage your scalp. Separate between the scalp and the skull. Create more space between them while breathing deeply and slowly. And now move your head in rotating motion in both directions again. 80% of the people in my classes feel that the head is lighter and the neck is looser. There are more exercise to loosen up the neck, but this is a very good beginning. You have to be sure that enough blood flows to your scalp, flows to your skull mainly, and reaches your eyes. The eyes are silent. The retina is silent. We need to nurture them. We need to bring more blood to them. And we can prevent most blindness, which is a result of lack of blood flow to the eye, to the optic nerve, and to the brain. I'm looking forward to see you and work with you, your friend, Meir. Mm -hmm.